Essentially, a book of hours is a prayer book. It's prayers to be said at different hours of the day. When we think of a book of hours, we mustn't think of a priest kneeling in devotion. They were books that were made for the average man and woman of the Middle Ages. For merchants, for bankers, for lawyers, for the members of the court. So this is a little jewel of the manuscript that we called the Hours of Charles V. You have this combination of the devotional, and that's in the miniatures themselves, and the secular in the borders. That represents the nature of the owners. We have what is probably one of the very earliest representations of the game of golf in this miniature depicting the visitation here. They were meant as status symbols to show off in court or to show off among a, a circle of friends. One of the interesting parts of working with the Book of Hours is to try and tell a story about it. Tell the story of who it was made for. That narrative gives the, the book a history. So this is a Book of Hours called The Hours of Anne de Neufil, after one of the early owners of the manuscript because you see on this fantastic binding, Anne en the Fidèle, and Une né à une fidèle, which is an anagram for Anne de Neufil. Anne owned this manuscript in the 1570s, but the original patron was possibly a woman called Antoinette, and we think that because here we see the original owner kneeling in prayer with her book before Anthony Abbott. So either there was a particular devotion towards Anthony Abbott, or perhaps her name was the female version of, uh, of Anthony Antoinette. You have very much the same relationship with the Book of Hours that an original owner would have had. As you're leafing through it, you see small signs of wear thumbing on the pages that have occurred over the centuries as the manuscript has been passed down from one person to another. It does really feel like you're holding history in your hands.